A UNM graduate is using his downtime during the pandemic to come up with new ways that more people can easily cover their faces without putting on a traditional mask. News 13's Courtney Allen shows you. It's a simple way. The way you use it is you just use your finger to find the kind of front center of your collar. To follow the governor's mask mandate. Then flip it around and make sure it's on there. And then you just bring it up to your nose. Without ever wearing one. And that is fast mask. <laughs> UNM mechanical engineering graduate Kurt Schramm is the founder of the new invention, fast mask. There were a large group of people that were just trying to hold their shirt over their face going into stores and the idea kind of popped into my head. Using a 3D printer, SRAM designed a plastic mold that people can fasten to their shirts and pull over their noses, turning any t-shirt into a cloth covering. It doesn't feel nearly as restrictive when it comes to breathing. He argues it's as effective as a regular mask, demonstrating in a video that it stays secure even after doing a backflip, and he says it's easy to carry and clean. Disposable kind of single use masks, and so that causes a lot of waste. Um, something like this, it's really easy to clean after using, so it, you can essentially use the product until it breaks down. Some around town are skeptical. I think it looks kind of silly. Why would you want to put a, 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 a nose clip over your nose when you could just put a mask over your nose and mouth? But others say they like the idea. I think it would be really good to have instead of a whole mask over your face. It could be more breathable, also depending on the shirt. So I would definitely buy it. People like to have alternatives and there's nothing wrong with providing an alternative to masks. Courtney Allen, KRQE News 13. Shram says the fast masks just became available a week ago and they've had five orders so far. More information can be found at always on KRQE.com.